Welcome to South Australia. Starting in Adelaide, we had a great adventure in South Australia. These are the top things to do that you cannot miss. Cage dive with the great white sharks out of Port Lincoln, South Australia. Diving with great white sharks in Port Lincoln takes you two hours out to sea. There you will anchor in the shark feeding grounds with Adventure Bay divers. Unlike shark diving in South Africa, they don't chum the waters here. Instead, they lure the sharks with music. We've arrived at the diving site here in South Australia. Hopefully some great white sharks show up to visit us today. Alright, so here we have our cage. Um, when you're in there, you'll probably be um, you'll be able to reach the surface, so you'll just be standing on the bottom of the cage, and it'll probably be you know, about here. The ACDC is rolling, and we're ready to get in into this lovely 16 degree water, hence the very fashionable hood, boots, and I'll be sporting some gloves later on as well. Welcome to South Australian fashion on the water. The water was a chilly 16 degrees Celsius, so I must admit I was a bit more afraid of the cold than the actual sharks. But once I settled in and caught my breath, I felt much better. Shark diving in Australia is very safe and you have experts helping you in the water to make sure you are comfortable and they are ready to help anytime to make sure you have the adventure of a lifetime. Shark diving season is typically from April to June, and for us, being near the end of the season, we had a lot of time in the cage, as there were only a few of us on the boat. It was fantastic to see the sharks swim by, but I have a feeling they didn't love the music quite as much as we did. During the downtime, we had the chance to live out our fantasy of being a rock star, but this time it was underwater. Who can say they've done that? Fantastic, about like four meters long. Now the graceful likes it. Oh, that's a graceful day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Good boy. Oh, like a gazelle, man. Like a gazelle. Like I've done it a thousand times before. Our next South Australia water adventure took us to Baird Bay, where we swam with dolphins and sea lions. Swim with the dolphins and sea lions in Baird's Bay. Swimming with dolphins in Baird Bay was the best dolphin experience we've ever had. It's a little unnerving to know that there's sharks in the area, but our guide was wearing a shark deterrent. It's an electronic pulse attached to his ankle that apparently scares off sharks. Hey, when you're swimming with dolphins, you're not afraid anyway, because when dolphins are around, usually sharks are not. Dolphins can fend off sharks, even great whites. They just loved to play with us. The more we twirled and dove, the more they played with us. We're here with Baird Bay Eco Adventures in South Australia, and we are waiting to go in and swim with the sea lions. We just swam with the dolphins, and it was the best dolphin encounter I've ever had, hands down. So I'm looking forward to getting in again to play with these guys. It's mating season, so we'll see what happens. The Baird Bay Ocean Eco Experience has been operating since 1992. It costs 180 Australian dollars, and you get to swim with dolphins and sea lions, plus you get to explore the bay by boat and see the marine life in their natural habitat on land and in the sea. Lots of sea lions, lots of dolphins, a perfect day here in South Australia. Visit the Kangaroo Rehabilitation Centre here on Kangaroo Island. You'll have the kangaroos eating right out of your hand. We did a two-day four-wheel drive nature adventure with Kangaroo Island Wilderness Tours and saw plenty of wildlife besides kangaroos. 
One of the highlights was visiting Hanson Bay Wildlife Sanctuary where we saw some very frisky koalas. Usually they are quite lazy, but today they put on a great show for us. See the remarkable rocks on Kangaroo Island. The remarkable rocks are beautiful giant boulders made of granite that have been sculpted over 500 million years, creating these very unique formations. The best time to go is at sunset to get the gorgeous shades of orange and red, creating deep shadows. It's an Instagrammer's dream. Kangaroo Island is just a 25 minute flight from Adelaide. If you want to drive, you can take the Sea Link, which is a 45 minute ferry ride that departs from Cape Jervis. Cape Jervis is only about an hour and a half from Adelaide. It's worth the trip as Kangaroo Island is a great place to spot wildlife and you can see some incredible secluded beaches, including Vivon Beach, which was voted one of the best beaches in Australia due to its seclusion, crystal clear waters and lack of crowds. Go to Vivon Beach on Kangaroo Island. It was voted Australia's number one beach. That's amazing. There are many wildlife sanctuaries and conservation areas on Kangaroo Island and a highlight is the Birds of Prey show started by Dave Irwin. He is the cousin of the late crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin. The family's love for wildlife shines through and you know you are contributing to conservation in Australia when you watch the Birds of Prey show. You also have a chance to get up close and personal with rescue birds from all around the world. And finally, a stop at Seal Bay is a must. It's a breeding colony for Australian sea lions. They are an endangered species and this bay is a protected breeding ground for them. Australian sea lions have a difficult life, but they definitely love to play and it was a treat to watch them body surf and play on crashing waves. He just knocked him. Unlike the other sanctuaries on Kangaroo Island that are rehabilitation and rescue centers, this is protecting wild sea lions that are free to come and go as they please. We're about to take our scenic flight today over Wilpena Pound on a very brisk morning in South Australia. Getting ready to go. Head up here in Wilpena Pound. Check it out from the air. Wilpena Pound is more than a 400 kilometer drive from Adelaide, but it's worth it. Located in the Flinders Ranges, a scenic flight over the 80 square kilometer circle of rock is a must. The giant amphitheater snakes through the Flinders Ranges. The raised rock was formed by a tectonic shift that caused the rocks to fold onto each other millions of years ago. It's one of the most impressive landscapes you'll ever get the chance to witness, so it's worth the splurge to take a flight. No trip to Australia will be complete without a tour to the outback. We went with Gullers Ranges Safari where we stopped at Mikara Station to see koalas in the wild before heading out to the outback where we saw kangaroos in their natural habitat. We stayed in a luxury tented camp and we checked out the ancient volcanic ranges like the organ pipe formation and the rugged landscape. We visited a working sheep's camp to learn about the sheep shearing heritage of Australia. You can stay at these stations and even volunteer. Plus, we stopped at the spectacular Lake Gardner. Visit the massive salt flats of Lake Gardner. Lake Gardner is a 160 kilometer long salt lake that is 48 kilometers wide. In places, the salt is over a meter thick. It is currently the location for the annual Speed Week in Australia and we had the chance to visit during the day and again at sunset to see the reflections of the shallow water.
Kangaroos aren't the only thing you'll see in the outback. During our tour of Galler Ranges and Wilpina Pound, we saw emus. Plus, in Wilpina Pound, we saw the elusive yellow-tailed rock wallaby. We took a tour by bus through Wilpina to check out the ranges, the wildlife, and the landscape, all while learning about the geological formations of this unique terrain. Wow. South Australia is known for its wine and a trip to the Barossa Valley is a must. We had the chance to make our own wine by doing our own blend at Penfolds. Penfolds is one of the most famous vineyards in the country. I'm starting my blending. I'm very nervous, but I do have three tries, so let's hope I get it right by the end. Here goes. I like the Grenache, so I'm probably going to be like one of the earlier vintages of last year and go a little bit more Grenache than the Shiraz, so let's see. Okay, trial one is 58 Grenache, 30% Shiraz, and 12% Levedra. The experience is an excellent way to try your hand at blending your own wine. They put three different varietals together and it's up to you to blend it to suit your taste. We found the safest blend was to just go with what the professionals do. So I basically did a carbon copy of bin 138 and it was delicious. Well, there you have it. I made my own blend of wine to my taste here at Penfolds in South Australia. I think it's a great experience and you should try it too. But I'm going to try this later. We're going to be trying Penfolds Grange Vintage, which is their flagship vintage and the number one wine in Australia. Let's give it a go. Fantastic. Much better than what I just made upstairs. Probably because this is $625 a bottle. South Australia is one of the lesser visited states in Australia, but it's filled with adventure, culture, beautiful landscapes, and unique experiences. If you plan on going down under, make sure to add it to your itinerary. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you get updates. We put a new travel video up every week.